You ready? Yeah. Citizens of the Reject Nation, I finally have a real Rejects t-shirt on, uh, and I think he might. My name's I Tara, do. by the way. It says RR Rejects. <laughs> of course, it's a real Rejects t-shirt. I'm not going to lie. I wasn't 100% sure about red and white for that T, but the Child Bingo, Protection baby. Services one, you were the guinea pig for it, and I think it looks great. I bought <laughs> yeah. it, and it's fantastic. Yeah, I think it looks great. Yeah. It's worth every penny I spent. Listen, we're going to watch Pixels. We've both had a rough day, so we're choosing comedy. You got to get on it. You got to make sure you leave a like. You type in there. Into the into the tubes, a comment. You got to leave a comment, but you also got to ring the bell. Ring the bell and subscribe. Patrons. Patrons. You're not already a patron. We call you super sexy over there. You can get down with it. Get sexy. Get on the Patreon. You can watch exclusive content and highlights, especially with Greg and John over there. They have a bunch of stuff. But then you can also do like a full sync up with the full copy with us and watch the whole pixels with us together if you get on Patreon. Okay? I think that's it. Like, what else do I have to say? I don't know, Matt. It's part of hosting a YouTube, a thriving YouTube <laughs> channel is you say uh, way more things that the audience <laughs> wants to hear. Never heard of them before. <laughs> yeah, rocking and rolling already. Familiar music, that's a big part of Adam Sandler movies. Welcome to the 80s. It is summer 82. Yes, called it. It's open, come on. Jerks. I assume every child is Adam Sandler's children. <laughs> <laughs> Surrender. Chris like, Columbus made this movie. Okay. What else has he made? Don't ask. I was worried. Once, I, once you it. said it, I was like, I can't recall any uh, movies. Oh, <laughs> great. I think you made Home Alone. <laughs> Peter Dinklage is in this. That. Shut up. How are you so good at this? You've never even played it before. Destiny. <laughs> Do they still have arcade championships? Oh, good question. I don't know. You're the, the lemon soft. Who told you that? The government? Because I'm this close to figuring out the secret of the Bermuda Triangle. Oh my God, I love this kid. <laughs> this movie just got great. Geeks and Oh, whoa. Because <laughs> my hands are blazing fast. And also I will blast and burn all my competitors' weak ass moves. <laughs> I can't wait for little people jokes. <laughs> Welcome, gamer. Dan Aykroyd. Look at him. Worldwide. I really like that their style to the credits. Oh yeah, it looks like a video game. With the hope of connecting to and perhaps providing a message for extraterrestrial life. Oh, it's based on a short film. Oh, that's really cool. That's a like that's a dream awesome. come true to have an adaptation brought to life. That is not Peter Dinklage. No, it's not. Not all little people yeah, are the same. I was like, but then why Why are we? I think it's a young Peter Dinklage, Got actually. It. Okay. Yeah, that's what I was. It I was, think it is him, but the age him, or something. It is him, but it's the. Got it. Either we're both terrible people or we got it right. <laughs> well, gentlemen, how about we break this tie? Let's play Donkey Kong. Hoot, 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 hoot. <laughs> Visuals are surprisingly awesome. well done. <laughs> yeah. I love the editing of that. That's cool. Yeah, surprisingly cool. Little Scott Pilgrim -y vibes. <laughs> I love movies that edit with music. Hell yeah. Congratulations. On coming in second. You prick. Is he gonna cry? Is the world champ. <laughs> what are you so to? How dare you? <laughs> is that boy gonna cry after losing in public in front of all these people? <laughs> the thing he was really passionate about. You're still gonna go to MIT and dance so we can make you a millionaire. And maybe even marry Olivia Newton John. Like, it's just, it's Donkey Kong, man. We don't gotta cry about it. Yeah, we do. Ay, ay, ay. Plus, you're married to a woman who hates you. She doesn't hate me. She just doesn't get it, you know? Oh, man. I don't have the free time to do stuff together like we did 10 years ago. He always has Kevin James in shitty relationships in his movies. <clears throat> Catastrophic. Catastrophic. I got it, sweetheart, okay? Damn, great coverage on these. Why do you yell at me? You're <laughs> <mean>. <laughs> <laughs> The casting for the kids is 10 out of 10. <laughs> you gotta learn how to read, buddy. It's as simple as that. <laughs> <laughs> I was on three hours sleep, all right? Nice to see you. Is he the actual Gasp. president? 
Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> That's why I was like, it's, it's all thrown out because he's the <laughs> actual president. I mean, you were incredible at video games back in the day, but that's a useless skill now. It's like being a great blacksmith. I love that the president has time to talk to... Yeah. Mr. President, Mr. if Nerd. you take away all the libraries, sir, how will the children ever learn to read? <laughs> <laughs> that's a terrible friend right there. Oh, this is like the video game. Let's call it tit. No, no, no. The G Gala. I yeah, forget. Yeah, I forget yeah, the names yeah, of yeah. all the names. But I know what you're talking about. Yeah. I always play it too. This that transition was dope. Hello, I am a nerd from the Nerd Brigade, here to nerd out on all your audio and visual needs. Do you have to say that every time you show up at a house? If I want to get paid, yes. Mm. Isn't that kind of demeaning? Only if someone brings it up. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Oh, so it's like 10 birthdays. Yeah, my dad cheated on my mom with his 19-year-old Pilates instructor. Ew. Oh. <laughs> when your son told me that your husband left you for a 19-year-old, <laughs> I guess I thought of you were going to be like one of those hot when we first met in high school. <laughs> <laughs> oh, just have a fling with him. Yeah. Do it, lady. Michelle... Michelle Mon Monahan? What's her name? Michelle Monahan? Yeah, okay, I did have it right, but then I was like, I Put might be right. wrong. Yeah, oh, this is gonna be like they're fighting, but fighting against a video game, but in yeah. real life. I love it. I, I played when I was your age. Were you any good? Just a reminder, Tara did not ever see the trailer for this, so she has no idea who we're going to I don't. I'm probably saying a lot of things that you guys are like, we already knew that. <laughs> no, no, it's great. Not judging, but what are you doing in the closet? Maybe she's changing. I'm mostly crying. <laughs> yeah. A little drinking. A little drinking. Probably equally crying and drinking. <laughs> Something I do often also. Are you all right? I'm sobbing on the floor in my closet drinking Charlie out of a sippy cup, so I guess not. <laughs> That mm. shot with the mirror is a surprisingly good shot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is that's <laughs> awesome. Oh, God. Wanna talk about it? No. This is good. This is when you take advantage of her in her vulnerable state. That's how you do it, Great, guys. Great, get out of here. <laughs> Wowza. Wow. Whoa. Man, if only these army people knew about video games. Nice to see a comedy shot with a sense of style. Yeah, whoa, this is... That's cool. I love just what happened. Just what happened. <laughs> just what, what happened. Just, just happened. Just what happens. Just, just what gotta happened. love it. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, my God. Get out of there. Get out He's of getting there. getting cubed? Cool. I mean, at this point, I'd be like, just take me. Take me to Pac-Man. Or Mrs. Mrs. Pack. It's not even spelled correctly. Mm. Also, it will end terribly for him. She's 19. But she's probably hot. I know, but she knows nothing. But when you're having a midlife crisis, that's what counts. What's going to happen when she wanders into a bar and she sees a normal 25-year-old man and she's like... You already married the wrong guy. You got the worst part over with. Mm -hmm. True. Divorce is good. married the wrong girl. Divorce is great. Maybe it just means we're going to meet the right person now. This is their meet cute in the closet with wine. Uh -oh. oh, no, too soon. no, too, too soon. soon. No. Are you trying to kiss me? Absolutely not. Oh, God. Offense, I don't think my rebound guy is a 210 pound person that installs flat screens for a living. No offense. That's very uh, offensive. Rude. I am not a snob. It's pretty snobby way to slop. I was a billionaire, and we were out on my giant yacht in the middle of the Mediterranean sipping champagne, She's lighting and up. I went in to kiss you. Would you have kissed me back then? Yeah. I would have kissed the guy. Yeah, <laughs> me too. Billionaire. Give me more of that champagne. When can I come on this yacht again? For the record, I'm an amazing kisser. All us nerds are, because we appreciate it more. <laughs> Amen, brother. You didn't even brush your teeth this morning. I ate a Tic Tac. <laughs> I will Girl. say, compared to other Adam Sandler comedies as of late... I this like, one's great. I really <laughs> love it. And I like that there's a different kind of dynamic with the love interest <laughs> versus they just get along. He got to the White House in 15 minutes. That's insane. 
Reminds me of the show 24 when they were like, yeah, I'll make it to LAX in 10 minutes. And I'm like, those are all lies. Go right on through, Lieutenant Colonel. Lieutenant Colonel? Yeah, what? They just keep subverting expectations on the female leading stereotype. Colonel Van Patten, you can go right into the Situation Room. Mr. Brenner, the president is waiting for you in the Oval Office. Somebody's more important. <laughs> <laughs> Freddie, can you keep the riffraff out of here? Like I had to cut in on that because it obviously wasn't Adam Sandler actually doing it. <laughs> Does that sound familiar to you? Yeah. Oh, where do I know that from? Can you freeze it? Yeah. Hold on. This Go movie down. is like every slacker nerd's fantasy. You <laughs> 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 just hang out with the president. Oh, you take your gaming that? skills uh, to saving to the world. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Preliminary indications are that we were attacked by Galaga. Oh, yeah, Galaga. That's what it's called. Galaga. Sons of bitches. Then let's blow Galaga to hell. <laughs> Who's Galaga? <laughs> this is the 1982 arcade version. Kind of Ziggy Zaggy. Ziggy Zaggy, is that the snobby term? Oh. Mm -hmm. Designed these space bugs after an old out of print version of a video game. Does she really get to talk twice? She's not even at the grown ups table. Yeah, and she's a woman. <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> Get this girl out of here. If this gets out to the press that we're pinning the blame on some old computer game, they'd impeach you. You'll be fine. We've seen it. There's an impeach. <laughs> 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 you know, I know it. What? Is that a naked butt in the background? It might be. Yes. Oh, it is. Oh. Ready. Oh. It wasn't naked. It was just khakis. Okay, okay. got uh, it. It was, it was just jeans. I was like, what? <laughs> no, 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 Stop. It's me. It's me. It's Ludlow. It's Ludlow. Oh, at the beginning Ludlow of the movie. Lemons. CIA has been tapping my phones ever since I found out the Zapruder film has been edited. JFK shot first. Ludlow, it is you. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> You're the first guest I've had here. They froze Walt Disney? Oh, that's a shocker. Wow. I think they really lean into their like sci-fi uh tones for in a really fun whimsical way actually i think if she was real things might just play out a little bit differently mm -hmm. you want to know how like i know real that real in the game mm -hmm. in if the she was real a book written and illustrated by ludlow lamansoff oh boy <laughs> oh my god i love it <laughs> she's just wanted... ah! <laughs> why am i here right now why did you try to roofie me Right. Thank you for reminding me. Uh -huh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember how there was a tape of the event and all the games that were played that was then put in a capsule and shot out into the universe looking for extraterrestrial life? Oh, I get it. And has sent down real life versions of what they saw to attack us. They probably thought that's what humanity was or what weapons are. Uh, we are a race from the planet Valula. We came to you in these familiar Earth forms to tell you we received your vessel. This all happened on national television? <laughs> you have two lives left. Losing both will lead to the total destruction of your planet. Did they actually get, get Madonna, Madonna to say this? Or is this? that some old archive footage we don't know about? At least warn the people of India something could be coming. The whole country thinks I'm a buffoon right now as it is. But I can't risk it, Brenner. I just can't. And this is how they sold movie pixels in India. <laughs> Oh, he's going live. I think he's just recording. He's going recording. <laughs> That's the most relatable thing. He's going to try recording. Oh, they're going to try recording. Or something. I would have tried. That is a disturbing effect, actually. We now understand the entities that attacked us were made of energy, intelligent energy. Morning, Colonel. Good morning, Michael. What? Whoa. Cool head, Michael. The cubes we recovered in Guam are normally pretty feisty. Oh, oh. he didn't like it, though. <laughs> I love how Adam Sandler's attitude is always just so passive and unaffected. And the uh, uh, slut-seeking missile. I'd love to see that. Oh, Do you have that around so here? <laughs> <laughs> That's great. That's a great callback. I so regret trying to kiss you. I would kiss the guy in the yacht a hundred times before I kissed you. Of course. Snob! Oh, it hurt his feelings. Civilian arcaders, who we are required to listen to for 
120 seconds <laughs> starting. I can't do this. I love Brian Cox. Now. I can't do this. I, I, can't do this. I, I love him no matter what genre Brian Cox is in. He is so committed. He's hey guys. perfect. Someone forgot to send us the best of the best. Oops. And instead dropped off a bunch of incontinent adult diaper wearing <laughs> <laughs> women, baby man people. What am I looking at right now? Are you guys soldiers or the cast of Magic Mike? <laughs> what are you, you doing? Maggots. You do you feel me, sailor? You beautiful Nubian man. You gorgeous specimen of what God can make. <laughs> Form extremely complex motor feats with hand eye coordination unique to a very specific wow. cognitive acuity. I learned a lot of big words at the dorm room drug parties. <laughs> <laughs> and let us teach you a few things in the little time we have. We might help you win this thing. I love how they're the two most qualified people. <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> Ain't no way Inky's catching up to you. <laughs> I want you to focus mostly on the ships. Aww. No distractions, just us. Oh my God, his okay. wife. Who? Whoa, baby. Oh, her. Oh, from 30 Rock. Yeah. Jane Krasowski? Krasowski? The next battle is on at sundown tomorrow. 5130, 29 latitude, 0942 longitude. Where is that? London. All it's in London, England. Everybody uh -huh. believes currently that I'm from there. Oh, dude, you're or nailing the accent. Nearby. Oi! Would you like a small tea? I know how to do Cockney pretty well. London is more proper. Proper. It's a lot more proper. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's great. Oh my god, see? It was a naked butt in the beginning. It we was a naked he's butt. Got, he's got... He's gonna die. Sean Bean dies. I don't want to hear another word out of you. Walking wiener coat. What's a, a wiener coat? It's really, it's just like one of those it's big... It's like a coat for your wiener? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. You said it was a big... Okay, I get what you were trying to say. I was trying to make a different point. Okay. <laughs> About how it's like a big sci-fi movie of oh. alien invasion. Oh, oh. Wednesday came. Got it. I know, right? But yeah, sure, big wiener. I just want to touch it. <laughs> Easy with those light cannons. That's a cool shot. Boom, boom, yeah, boom. There's some surprisingly good shots at this comedy movie. Yeah. Just remember who you're talking to, Missy. No wait! Colonel, don't worry. They're going to work. <gasps> he was kind. That was sweet. In case it's space invaders, I just thought of something I should Please tell Please return to the support area. Okay. We know where to find you. All right. Now bug it off. But he's the guy you need. <laughs> I love all these like quick moving crane shots. It's great. It's so pretty though. Oh snap. Wow. It's centipede. What a great advertising okay, for Okay, boys, doing exactly what we talked about. Right? People are like, what centipede? Gotta go find it now. <laughs> I don't know centipede. Centipede is a. It's, it's. Oh, you know centipede? Yeah. yeah it's I like, don't know. I, oh yeah. wow! That's why I brought you here because I forgot the how old you are. Yeah, I'm uh, 55. <laughs> My God, will you please find the pattern and anticipate? I don't know the pattern. Sergeant Dap, 12 o'clock. Oh. Whoa. Oh damn. Oh, bye bye, <laughs> Sergeant. Like I was <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Shit just got real. How can a big commercial is <laughs> There's really great callbacks in this. Just grab the gun yourself, yeah, dude. Yeah, buddy, there we go. Oh my god, this is the most badass he's ever looked. Fly your ass back here, Yank! He's saving the world! Whoa, this movie's making Adam Sandler look like an action hero. <laughs> Something he will never be. <laughs> this is such a nerd fantasy. I am eating this up. Yeah. You mess with the wrong planet. From Land's End to John O'Groats. What the hell are you saying? Oh <laughs> no! <laughs> me? No! Look at me. I look delicious. They'll gobble me up like space dim sum. <laughs> oh, I can't wait for the president to get involved. Come on, you're the wonder kid! You've no authority to dispense weapons here, Mr. Brenner! Oh my god. Mr. President? 
Let, let the nerds take over. What was that, sir? Let the nerds <laughs> take over. Let the nerds take over. Let I want that on a t-shirt. <laughs> let the nerds take over. Uh, That's right. <laughs> I would wear it every day. Yeah, baby. It's actually a cool concept to take these arcade games and turn them into like villains. <laughs> Do. That's really dangerous. <laughs> There's people back there. What would you do after this is all solved, though? Reconsider a lot of things. Mm -hmm. We can. Actually, I feel like you would just get really good at video games. <laughs> you know a movie is working when you don't even know what the game is. Yeah. It's like a basic concept to understand, though. Yeah. These effects are really good. They're surprisingly They're, like, really that good. That looks awesome. It's been 30 years since I kicked your butt. Like, there's effects from movies right now that I'm like, they don't look good, and <laughs> this looks dope. Oh. Wow. Whoa. Yes. Just take it uh, Get it. Yeah, why not? <laughs> ah. Enjoy. Hey. That's so dumb and cute. How does she not hear this? She's old, Gregory. <laughs> Perfect shot. Nice. Who are you, Mr. <laughs> Son, I'm just a loser who's good at old video games. Well, thank God for that. She's on the U.S. government! <laughs> you know, you're all right, Brenner. You're all right, too, mm -hmm. snobby. You're gonna nurse that all night long, or when are you gonna start? Snobby hottie, that's what I'd call her. She's really hot. Mm -hmm. I was the vodka shot record holder in my class at West Point. That's not vodka. That's a skull, that's tequila. Please accept one of our warriors as a trophy of your victory. I'm pretty sure they're just taking this old footage and they're doing lip dubbing. That is so oh. cool. They're Look doing duck it. hunt. <laughs> the details will be sent via this signal shortly. Or Remember, there's just some digital effects of Realtory. I think you might be right about yeah. the lip dubbing. This could be it, buddy. There's nobody better than you. Well, not at every game. Ooh, Peter Dinklage. Peter Dinklage. Yeah, I was Peter like, Dinklage. Where is he? You know, he's right, Brenner. Come on, man. We don't even know where to find that idiot. <laughs> yes, I can't wait. He made about 50 million before he was convicted and sentenced to 20 years in prison. Oh. <laughs> he's just such an ultimate badass. <laughs> God, I love him. Let's get me out of here. It's that mean centipede killer. I hope you don't zap me with his space gun. Sub second place. <laughs> oh, and your sidekick here. This is why I don't think I can have Brenner on my team. He's just not really a gamer. Lois, did he have a southern drawl at the beginning of the movie? He, yeah. <laughs> okay. No, 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 no. Hey, 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 come on. Sit down. Okay. Oh, they shoot at this like Dutch I will personally <laughs> speak to the parole board. And I want to stealth attack helicopter like they fly over the Super Bowl at my disposal at all times <laughs> so I can fly around. If you help us beat these things, I think we can get you out of here. And the Martha Serena sandwich. Pick one of them. We'll set up a coffee. Serena Williams. And we are closed. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. He, he made the right call. Serene is the, the better I understand. One, you know? <laughs> but Martha Stewart knows how to decorate. New York City. Oh, forget about it. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice to see him let loose. Solid establishing shot. Damn. They got a lot of big, uh, big crane shots in this. Rookie, just tell him what you saw. It was, it was awful. Nice. It was like one of those mm. monster movies, you know? But this time, the monster was real. And who was this monster? Pac-Man. Yes. <laughs> Boom, that's my jam. Boom, let's get us some little ghosts. You want ghosts? She's got ghosts. Ghosts. Oh, man. Dude, I totally get how they were able to fund this movie. Awesome, because it's so awesome. <laughs> so much. They're going to go. That's so cool. Four mini generators for each of the cars. Ghosts. Dope. 
We're calling them XM950. Love how they had this prepared in case yeah. that they had Pac-Man. Why are there four of them? There's only three of us. Who's our fourth? May I introduce to you Professor Toru Iwatani. Is that the inventor the of Pac-Man? The creator of Pac-Man. Oh, man. Whoa. Iwatani-san! Hajimamashite. <laughs> <laughs> you speak Japanese? No. Mm. Sir, what an honor. Thanks for all the joy you brought to our lives. No. You even did an accent. <laughs> I made your game my bitch. What mm. is a bitch? Mm. Buckle them in. You alright? Yeah. Why? Ludlow's right. You do smell good. Good luck. Yeah. Don't buckle in any of the other guys. That way I know you really like me for me. All he had to do was become a big action hero. Gentlemen, I'll be sending Pac-Man's current coordinates to each of your car's GPSs. Let's locate and eliminate. Is this about to turn into the Fast and the Furious? Or the Italian job. Have you seen that? Oh, one? yeah, that's such yeah. a great movie. <laughs> that is awesome. <gasps> Pac-Man's a bad guy? Uh-huh. Uh oh. Oh! I created him to bring joy to all the people of the world. <laughs> I brainwashed him. <laughs> oh my god, I Keep love it. Down. It's kind. Gentle. <laughs> it's not. Someone you can tell your troubles to or grab a hamburger with. <laughs> what? It's not your Pac Man. It is his Pac Man! But it's, it's just some, like. You'll see. Recreation. <laughs> You'll see. I knew it. I was like, I hope he gets out of the car and talks to it and is like, you're not. <laughs> You're not meant for this. I will talk to him. Yes. He's my son. No, that's a bad idea. It's a great idea. I love everything about it. He's <laughs> just listening. Mm -hmm. Hello. My sweet little boy. He's going to die, right? Like Look immediately. How big grown. I know. You're a good boy. He's going to be chomped. Oh. Ah! <laughs> All right, losers! Three on one! Let's hit it! Oh, they got cool. rid of the inventor. I wonder if there's the actual inventor. He is, right? I would assume he is. Yeah. yeah. Whoa, that was a cool shot. Yeah, they have a great way of, like, because it's part of the world that whatever it comes in contact with turns into a cube, it makes it look more tangible and real. Yeah. They couldn't have made their cars faster. They're just Mini Coopers. They're not that fast. Mini Coopers are known to be so fast. <laughs> <laughs> Neato. Whoa, Eddie, how did you do that so fast? Because I'm the champ, Lieutenant. <laughs> just do it off screen. I mean, if it was me, I'd be in like a nope. 1967 Eleanor. Like a Mustang. Up? Or a Camaro. Why aren't you guys ghosting it? Oh. Way to go, Peter. But doesn't it usually have three lives? Yeah, they gotta do it two more times. I love Pac-Man. All right, Pac-Man number two just regenerated four streets away, headed northbound. I would love to get a Pac-Man arcade. Yeah, that'd be cool. I would love to not pay you to be here and <laughs> use all that money <laughs> to get a Pac-Man <laughs> <laughs> <gasps> you guys forgot to anticipate. He's coming for you. I know what. He ate the power pellet. Pac-Man's got 10 seconds where he can eat us. Oh, God. I didn't know. It was only 10 seconds this whole my whole life. I did not know that. Only 10 seconds. You just got to survive. Oh. Which, obviously, you never did. Oh, God. Don't eat me. Don't eat me. Don't eat me. Please, please don't eat me. Uh. Oh, gosh. No. Oh, that's gonna be awesome if they show him just in a cutoff car the rest of the time. I'm gonna die a virgin! <laughs> oh. Uh. Whoa. Uh, all right. One up! Let run! Pump your legs! Go, baby! Someone's gonna run into him right now. Yay! Ooh. How the hell did he get over there so fast? Way to go, champ! There's David yeah, Busters in the background. <laughs> yeah, thrilled. One more to go and it's happy hour. Uh, I love that. That was probably intentional.
Oh no. What? Oh no. Brenner, it's I on hope you. Peter can swim. There are still three other power pellets out there, so stay alert. Yo, this is more than just a video game. You are driving on the streets of New York City. I feel like you could have gotten an actual professional driver <laughs> instead of gamers <laughs> for this. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> true. Six. That is some serious backward driving. Eight. Nine. Whoa. It's going to bump into him. Ten. Perfectly timed. Wow. Whoa. Most badass guy in the world. Wait a minute. He was Zohan. He can do action. He actually did like Israeli military training for that movie. He did? Yeah. Whoa. He actually knows how to. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why that just popped in my head right now. Bravo. <laughs> He's also a superstar. Uh -huh. Nerd fan. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Government will chew you up and spit you out, though, after this. Let me guess. Michelle comes down and she's like, I don't know. I'm thinking about the line that she's going to say. We love you, Mr. President. Thank you for saving us. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what would be worse. Them failing or them actually pulling this off. This movie about to take a completely unnecessary turn. I guess so. Do you recognize this game? I wish I had that for my life. Do you know what this game is? Is this Left 4 Dead? No. <laughs> oh, that's the only video game I know, and I loved it. It's The Last of Us. Come on, step one up. Yeah. Take a hand. I feel bad because I was going to wear our Real Rejects Last of Us shirt today, but you got one on. <laughs> no, one I don't. Of, one of our two. Mm. He's so cute. <laughs> oh, no. Sorry. Oh, good. <laughs> I'm a snob. I have mental problems. I'm willing to overlook that for the evening. <laughs> I like their chemistry. I, I normally feel like Adam Sandler's wife's in movies. Like there's just, no chemistry. <laughs> they just cast like a, yeah, hot, a woman, hot woman. You're my likable wife. I agree. <laughs> and the, she's, they actually have like a build in their development of their relationship. It's like cute. It's, it's, it's cute. cute. It's cute. <laughs> yeah. Look at him, oh my god, he's, he's he's back from Hitch. He just has to be himself. Well, look at here, Serena. They threw me a big party to thank Oh my god, they got Serena. <laughs> he actually got wow. Serena. They promised me an island if I did this. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Wowza. Dang, girl. Excuse me for a second. I That's like his new future family. Stance. I like how everyone's accepting this alien creature. And not going like it's. Shouldn't we fear this? Yeah, like it's like, just. It's I what like it. it. Is. What happened? Brush your teeth. You brushed your teeth. Yes, yes. Callbacks in this are ten out of ten, man. Welcome. Yeah, he's musically trained. You know who he is? Olaf, right? Yep. Mm, does he sing a lot in that movie? I'm not really. Yeah, Olaf old. sings a lot. Olaf has a full musical number. Even think about touching me, I'm gonna smack you through the wall. Mm, I'd have it no other way. Should have gone with Martha Stewart's. Then I'd have a tasty panini cooked for me or something. <laughs> <laughs> you have violated the rules of warfare, dudes. Violated the rules? Because of this, you forfeit, and your planet is now ours. Oh, Peter Dinklage cheated. What? That's how he was going so fast. Oh. What the heck are they talking oh, I about? Love me that song. Yeah. Oh, you're in trouble now. The Pac-Man cheat code for super speed? You're a cheater. So what? I used cheat codes back in the day to help me oh, dominate. He's not a real master. That's how I beat your boy Brenner at the world championship. Oh, yeah. Oh, you son of a bitch. Oh, man. I owe everything I have to these bitchin' shades. This ends now. How could it apply to a card, though? Drop dead, Admiral. You're done. All right, hey guys, it's enough. Listen, we tried something, it didn't work. What do you think it's gonna be? Is it gonna be Donkey Kong? I really don't no, know. No, what about Duck Hunt? Matt. Oh, we just saw the dog. No! No, now it's personal. Oh, boy. Uh-oh. This is no good. Where's Eddie? Eddie. 
Yeah. Crawled into a hole. We'll never see him again. Oh, and the little boy's the only one with the answers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Wait a second. Cubert is from there. He knows all their secrets. Yeah, ask him all the questions. We have a positive can do attitude. Ah. I'm kidding. We are all going to die. I'm just sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Ready Player One. Whoa. Have you seen Ready Player One? Yeah. Great film. Damn you, Tara. Could have reacted to it. <laughs> Harder. Whoa. Wow. They're, they're, All they're, of they're them. They're not even naming them now for me to remember what the names are. Just a lot of familiar imagery. Whoa. Tetris. That's a clever way to That's make an Tetris awesome. antagonistic. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Who is it? Nobody's better at the. Oh shit! The president's here. Thanks for being my friend. Of course, buddy. I love you. I go kick some ass. You know, everyone says Adam Sandler is like the nicest guy. Everyone says uh, that? Yeah, in like real life. I bet you he is. Oof. Smurfs? <laughs> so hot. <laughs> what is this game? I don't know what that game is. Get away from those kids now! <laughs> uh, Please? The paper boy in the background. <laughs> Nice headshot. Oh, oh my god. She's real. The girl of his dreams. Damn, she does look hot. Hey girl, hi. Is that Ashley something? One of those hot that... actresses. That's her. She's an actress and she's hot. I prayed for this. <laughs> but apparently you don't feel the same. No, dude. Win her over. You're in luck. The boss wants to meet you in person. Who is this? I don't know. I've been trying. You save your planet and destroy it our out. warriors. Put it in the comments. But if you lose. <laughs> uh -huh. Looks like one of those creepy 90s sci-fi things. At least I can die a happy man knowing that I found true love. Recognize him. <laughs> 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 Love of itself. She's, she's like so subtle in her reaction to it all. Wow. Josh Wowza. Gad. You lucky guy. And I couldn't even get a handshake from Serena Williams. I had to prove to myself do this without cheating. Wait, you cheated? Moving on. <laughs> uh, uh, perfect. <laughs> so stupid. I love it. Oh. I like this movie way more than I thought I would. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. What is that noise? It is Donkey Kong. Oh. I was going to say, oh, that's really neat. They set him up for so long that I was like, it would be a real disappointment if they didn't use it. That's him. awesome. The one game you suck at. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, they got a rescue. Oh, that's clever. Cool. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Aw. God, I can't pinpoint that robot game. It's really bugging me. Just let it go, Greg. Let it go. <laughs> I mean, what's that chef from? I don't know what a lot of these are from. Awesome. This is a really cool looking set. Yeah. It looks like they actually built something built, and mixed like, it with visual it partially, effects. Partially, yeah. Yeah. Damn. That was cool. Oh! <laughs> Damn, that I can't is a do tough this. Game. There's no pattern. Pretend you're the guy and you don't want to die. Yeah, man. I couldn't even beat any plant. 
good in New York. He used cheat codes. He can see it now. Mm. You know what that means, right? You're the best. You're I'm the, the master. Donkey Kong champion of the world. And the Donkey Kong champion of the world doesn't need patterns. <laughs> <laughs> I, I found it. that really funny. I oh love my the commitment god. to it. The sincerity oh of it. Oh <laughs> my god. That was the most genuine <laughs> delivery of that line. <laughs> that was so awesome. <laughs> Rock you. Uh, Please. Oh, help him. What? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, dope. <laughs> Is this a remix? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It took me a second to pick up on it. This shouldn't be so cool, but it is. It's so, it's so cool. Yeah. Damn. You just needed the confidence. Oh, this would have been so cool to <laughs> be born that. yet when yes, this I movie do. came out to go to the pop-up uh -huh. bar. I've been waiting to do this since 1982. Mm. Yeah. Whoa. Other than the one frogger thing, Kevin James really hasn't done much. <laughs> in this movie? <laughs> no, in terms of like fighting the Oh, alien. right. Yeah, he was just kind of there. <laughs> My second favorite president. You know Obama's still my man, right? Okay. <laughs> so he, he's, this is a, f a fictional <laughs> movie. Of, he is. If Trump did become president, right. we would get Kevin James. <laughs> no more taxes. <laughs> we did it, baby. We did it. All right. <laughs> <Yeah>! <laughs> I love Peter <laughs> Dinklage's reaction to that. He's just like, whoa, man. Brenna, you are the best in the world. <laughs> the Donkey Kong. <laughs> Lady Lisa, she made an appearance, and while you guys were out, you know, saving the world, you kind of destroyed his. Oh, that's horrible. Jane, she's so underused, though. Oh, yeah. She yeah. literally has had two lines. <laughs> Well, I guess we get to keep the trophies. Yeah. But he had a trophy wife. Can he morph into her? Which would have its own weird implications. Uh, maybe he, but, uh, yeah, I feel like what what's it? happening, it might happen. I mean, they're going to lose Qbert, though. He loses his friend, yeah. so she gets, gets the wife. <laughs> <laughs> what about Qbert? No one else is weirded out by this. That was just Qbert. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I have brokered a peace treaty <laughs> with the alien invaders. I think Chris Columbus directed one of the Harry Potter movies. Really? Yeah, I think so. Nerds are the greatest kissers. Prove I'll it. I'll be the judge of that. Do it for everyone. Get a round of applause. Yay! Is, uh, it, is it Martha is Stewart? Is it? Did they get Martha? Oh, Serena! Uh. <laughs> a pleasant surprise. Oh my god, <laughs> god <laughs> <laughs> uh, That's so funny. That's a really funny ending. Are they just now leaving? Ah, uh, he's back. Game over. Yeah, my shirt literally or shirt literally says game over. <gasps> game over. She pop out a baby for him. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> oh god. Oh. <laughs> what is a oh. funny ass ending? <laughs> uh, that's great. Wow. I like the music in this film. I actually always like the music in Adam Sandler's films. Cause I'm 65 years <laughs> old. This was a fun movie. It was fun. Yeah. These are some really inventive credits. Yes, I love it. Also, if you guys are listening to they this remember. on Spotify <laughs> or on Apple Podcasts or any podcast, make yeah. sure that you rate this episode, please. We love it. And you now 
Let's get into the review. I just rhymed. You did just Yo, rhyme. I you felt t- it. You felt it. Everybody felt it. Yeah, that was very, very impressive. Thank you. Now, before we go into this review, I did want to say, Tara, just another oh compliment. Boy. What is it? What's it going to be? <sighs> Those people on Apple and Spotify probably can't. I don't know. I think there's a video on there. It's been a while since I've I put someone else in charge of it. PLD, I hope you're doing a good job on there. Is it audio or video? <laughs> so <laughs> there, There's a video now? <laughs> I'm not sure, actually. Uh, but that the, shirt looks great on you, Tara. I'm transitioning. Everyone here at, at the on the channel now has shirts. I appreciate everyone who bought one. Tara, buying that one. And uh, to everyone in Reject Nation who has bought a shirt, thank you so much. I got this RO on right now. The Game Over shirt. Here it is on screen for y'all. I love that one. Every shirt that you see from the Reject Nation shop, we have personally been involved with with helping to uh, create ourselves. Hoorah. Then, you know, we also got like our Space Babies of the Galaxy shirt, which is uh, another one of our faves. I got this America's Ass one, which is a uh, mm-hmm. home- Homelander inspired, but we got a whole bunch of other tees. Seriously, thank you guys. It's personally my favorite way for people to support the channel, just because I think- this the, is the shirts first, are dope. This, this is the first one you're wearing. Can you attest that it actually feels, we made sure that the fabric oh, that yes. we got is actually comfortable This is a nice shirt that I, I want to wear. And yeah. even if I wash it, it's still going to be, it's going to be even more soft and cuddly. Because I have a billion shirts that I do not wear. Oh I yeah, because they're the f- hard material yeah. or they're gross. Like I these are not that. They're very comfy. Really care about the fabric. Yeah. And uh, so, yeah, guys, thank you so much. But Tara, please. Oh, you want me to tell you what I thought about the film? I want you to talk about it, darling. Yeah, yeah all right. And I really liked it a lot. I thought it was a lot of fun. Um... Uh, I like number one for me in the script, all of the callbacks. Like yeah. if I were, if I was reading this script, I would go the callbacks in this, make this movie just like take it from like an eight to a 10. The callbacks are hilarious. And they're really the, the pacing of this, especially com- comedic wise, uh, of course with the actors, cause they're comedic actors, but specifically with the editing that does matter. And all of the pacing of the editing was really spot on when it came to the comedy delivery, which I really, really liked. Um, and just in a real, a very inventive and fun story, like watching video games and having to fight them is rad. Um, and I, you know, like what you were saying about, uh, Adam Sandler and like his wives and like, Sometimes Adam Sandler films, they come off to me like from the beginning. I already know that I might be like taken out of it or that it'll be too corny. And this one, I was like sold on it immediately, like from the start. Also, my last thing. And then I'm all like, great, take it away. The kid in the beginning who plays, he played uh, Josh Gatz character. Uh, where did that kid go? Because someone needs to cast him in everything. He's hilarious. Like, I want that kid to be in my short films. That's all I got to say. No, oh, dude, I'm sure you got more to say. I love what you have to say. I mean, say. I have a lot, but I also, I already talked about the music solid. I, th- I think this movie gets so many points from me. I am I am by no means an Adam Sandler. Hey, I love Adam Sandler. And I know that when it comes to, you know, review circles, especially, he is very much consistently critically panned for a lot of, like, other than his dramas, which he's, he's a fantastic dramatic actor. Yeah. Cause he, it is strange. He, he demonstrates so much of his versatility and, and, and uh, so much of his uh, depth in his dramatic roles. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then he does comedies and usually he's, he's just like hanging out on camera <laughs> like yeah. Ever, yeah. Most, most of the time. Sometimes he puts a little bit more effort than usual, but most, even this is a great example. Like, yeah, he kind of just hangs he's just out. There. He just hangs <laughs> out on camera. And, and, and then to me, I could still see those. Sometimes they come across like a lazy film. They can come across like he's just on vacation and they got cameras pointed, but this was sometimes that's still enjoyable, you know? Yeah. Uh, what I, so this gets a lot more points for me because I know so many of those other films, uh, and this, you could really feel the conscientious effort I feel put in, you know? So already on that comparative note, it gets a lot more points because I think directing wise, there's a lot of great effort here. There's a lot of cool, like symmetry with the shots, the visual effects, uh, the world of them is really neat. And then on just a standalone as a comedy movie, you know, I, I really don't feel like we get as many comedy films now. We don't, right. you know, it's Not kind of really. like a dying film genre. 
Yeah, it kind of is. And then whenever they come out in the theaters, they tend to flop. You, you don't you don't get just direct like theatrical comedies anymore. Yeah, weird. I'm now just <laughs> yeah. it's hitting my brain where I I'm I'm thinking like more recently it's been like right it went like Barbie Oppenheimer and then we get like well now it would be Expendables and uh, <laughs> <laughs> these are movies I'm thinking about uh, John Wick Expendables and uh, what's the one with uh, I need to watch it hey, Equalizer Equalizer those movie. are I'm naming movies that are not comedies I don't know I can't name a comedy that has come out there is was, it like a dying breed now there was Joyride and No Hard Feelings. I saw no hard feelings. So yeah. yes, they do still exist. They exist, but they don't like it's it's uh it's doing well on Netflix, but they don't do well in the theaters in anymore. In the theaters anymore. It's, it's been a long time. Yeah, yeah, I mean the last time I feel like I watched a like a comedic film is on Netflix. Would be like, They're Oh, usually, you click it at yeah. home, right? You're not gonna pay Exactly. They're usually like streaming and a lot of times they have to be a little bit more high concept, like something a little bit more akin to this where it's like it's like it's like action sci fi adjacent to the comedy. Yeah. Right? So yeah, I mean, it goes down that path. But I, the reason I'm saying that is that I was like, it's, it was just nice to watch a comedy again. And it was it, uh, my the little nitpicks are yeah, Jane Krasowski or whatever her name is Krasinski. Yeah. <laughs> uh, sure. <laughs> yeah. That's John. That's John. I don't know what her name is. Yes, I do. Krasowski. Krasowski. Okay. Okay. Monster Zeek is Lazowski. I think she's Krasowski. I love him. Okay. And then there's John it. Krasinski. Yeah. Then he did um, Quiet Place. Yes. And he was in some other things. comedy show. And they then, think I don't know, but but, I know. but you know some things more than you things. more than you let on. I get what you do. You play the you you, you weaponize your incompetence. <laughs> I do that in my relationship. You do it on camera. I do it on camera for the people, for the yeah. public, for all the world to see. So, the, but the, this other than like okay, yeah, any comedy movie is going to have jokes that are not that funny. That it's just how the territory goes. Like yeah. you're going to not. And sometimes someone might, might not be joke funny. Sometimes not funny. Yeah. Then and then Jane Krasowski was um, she disappointingly two lines. like yeah I'm like why literally cast her? two lines <laughs> she's known like, for do comedy. not cast her and you're paying her a daily rate every time she is there on set acting and if they take a percentage and that's how they got these people like they're only on there for a second. When I saw Michelle Monaghan's name, I thought she would be utilized the way Jane Krasowski. Yeah. Well, yeah. But when I saw Jane Krasowski, I was like, oh, comedic actress, this is probably going to be worthwhile. And they did nothing. Like, she's, there's not even anything remotely nope. attempting to be funny. She's just there playing a wife. <laughs> she's, yeah, it's, 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 and it's she, remarkably straightforward. Count yeah. them, there is no more than three lines that come out of her mouth. Yeah, it's, that was the most surprising part because she is, uh, she, she was, a, the only thing I've seen her in is 30 Rock and I, and I thought she was She's incredible great. in that. And But everyone else, like to me, when you put Adam Sandler in a comedy movie, it's great to ha surround him by other, like if he's going to do the whole, like he's he's just kind of enjoying himself on camera, because whether he's rich or poor, he's going to be the guy in a t-shirt and shorts, you know, right. <laughs> like, doesn't yeah. matter. he's always going to be like the laid back guy and to put him in here surrounded by a movie that has a good production budget that has uh, attention to detail in the visuals that has an ensemble around him. That's really putting in a, a concerted effort uh, with the care, like Josh Gad's really playing a character. Even Kevin James is like doing a hybrid of what, you know, Kevin James and playing the president, you know, yeah. he's actually putting in an effort to play a character and Peter Dinklage, of course, and even Michelle Monaghan. I think this is when Adam Sandler is utilized best. Uh, when, when we just wanted to be the relatable Adam Sandler that we all love to hang out with. Mm -hmm. And I thought the rest of like, I like Kevin J. I liked everyone here and Josh Gad can be kind of hit or miss for me. And I, I actually liked him a lot. Too. That's what I was going to say. Josh Gad is in this, the sci-fi thing that used to be on Apple TV. Like it came out two years ago. I don't even know the name of it. I watched a few episodes. Severance? I've never seen it. No, it's maybe it wasn't on Apple. It was like, it's a, you guys know it. They're in space and stuff goes down. They keep them on that spaceship. Listen, Josh Gad oh, was in yeah, it. I know you're talking and about, yeah. I was like, I don't like Josh Gad in this. I, it got me off of him because I don't remember him from a lot of films or TV shows before. I just was like, oh yeah, that's Josh mm. Gad. And oh crap, he's the voice of Olaf. And I was like, he's fine, but I, will, I didn't really like him. And in this movie, I'm like, oh, I get the Josh Gad thing now. Meaning if I had seen this first, I'd be like, I understand why he is a huge fan base. Yeah. Because he is very funny and I really liked him in this movie. He was. This is that kind of cliche that 
the mom's basement nerd character is has been done to death. Yeah. But, you know, implementing it with a conspiracy theorist. And I thought he I thought he actually did. Some, I'm trying to put my finger on it of what he did different than what you normally see. Like, yeah, he still got that disheveled look, but it's not extreme <laughs> in the way it is. He seem he actually seems smart and competent. He's not playing it like kooky. There's actually like a dryness right. about it. Yeah. Yeah. I think it feels just more grounded in like internally who he is. Yeah. The kind of like uh kind of like sometimes when you see Jack Black and you're like there, there's sometimes mm. when he's like more grounded, still Jack Black, but then other times you're like he's going full on like 120% yeah. Jack Black. It's that vibe. Right? Yeah. That I like I like it when he plays it a little closer to home. Yeah. Um, I like that with most actors, but um yeah, that's that is what it felt like in this movie possibly for him because I believe That's good point. what you're saying is the sci-fi thing I'm thinking of I still can't remember the name he <laughs> he does play I think like a zany kind of character and I yeah just it didn't work for me that show kind of didn't where I wasn't very excited by it but I watched a few you can't remember the name of it the, I can't <sighs> I good can't. musical choices I like what I liked about it have you seen the Goosebumps movie with Jack Black no okay so is kind of similar in plot, sort of. Okay. In the sense of all these Goosebumps characters are coming to life and then they have to like outrun and survive and figure out how to put them back in the oh, box. Cool. It's a neat plot. Now, my one of my main complaints about that movie is whenever a, a character from Goose, Goosebumps came up, it was kind of the same bit all the time. Character shows up and they got to run away from it. And that's pretty much it. Character shows up and they got to run, run away, away from it. Right. And what I thought was neat about this is, sure, I mean, it gets to a point where it's just like a bombastic cacophony of just shoot the thing. <laughs> like, yeah. Sure. But I still think there was enough where they made an actual choice to let's create a level out of it, you know? Yeah, like, like actually play it because they're yeah. not really running in the beginning a little bit, but they're playing playing it while like yeah it's like a vr experience but instead of vr it's you're actually it's a threat you know so to have like the total what was the first one the cicada what was that one the centipede centipede yeah Uh, centipede uh the centipede yeah like even with that it was more than just shoot there was a strategy and the pattern the whole thing right of course pac-man um and then even with and then like Donkey Kong and, and when yeah, they that got, one was dope because that, that was, was really a real cool. set that we partially they built and then also with VFX and I'm like I think they had them on um like a lift like when they put you on a lift because I'm like mm. there's no way Michelle Monaghan but there was one where she's running on that thing and she jumps over the barrel and I'm like it seems like they had them on a lift so they could do that and then they place them back down you can keep running but you just CGI the thing out right and I feel like they did that with the actual people with the actual actors, which, right. and I don't know, but it, that's maybe a reason why it also looks super dope. Yeah. That's a likely guess. Um, and then when, uh, uh, uh the, even like with the Tetris one on the building, Oh, that even, was so smart. Even though it's brief, I'm like, that's really inventive of, yes. how they're, of how they're doing that. I like how then comedy, it starts off where there's a lot of like, uh, oh my God, sorry, <laughs> no sleep. There's Certain, a lot of, uh, there's a lot of, there's like a wacky, uh, there's like a slightly wacky character and then there's a straight man, right? There's yes. a lot of that kind of interaction. And then as the movie gets a little bit later, you kind of get um, more wacky characters interacting with each other. Like I actually really love the way that scene went down with Josh Gad and the, and the girl when he first encounters her. Be, yeah. It, like how they just commit to the genre of, whatever like weird fantasy this is at the time yeah of how she she plays it subtle she never speaks yeah and um i think that actress's name ashley benson am i wrong about that um but yeah i love how she just never speaks and just the way her she emotes there or and like even peter dinklage was he wasn't that funny at first. No, I wish I wish that he had gotten to do it in his regular accent cuz he would have been hilarious I feel like he actually might have been funnier if he did in his own accent. Way yeah. funnier because like Peter is so funny and the second he st- opened up to start yeah. to talk, I was like, this accent is not going to work in his delivery and tone and pacing is going to be totally thrown off by it. And I wish that they just would have made the kid like from London, but he still lived around. <laughs> and because Peter, 
He's primetime funny. What is... He just didn't get a there, chance with the accent. There was like two or three moments later on, like in the finale. I can't remember what, but I was like, oh shit, that was hilarious. I can't remember what he, there was some line he had that he actually delivered that I was like, oh, that, that was. Oh, he was like, at least I'd get a nice tasty panini. Out oh of yeah, it. that panini <laughs> line was really well delivered. Yeah, it's um, great. The panini line was really funny. Uh, his reaction to Martha his Stewart. His reactions, uh, yeah. yes. Yeah. Or oh, even when like, like Josh Gad was like, oh, my yes. wife. And then, like his reaction to that was really funny. So funny. And even in the beginning of the prison, I was sort of listening to that scene, being so excited Peter Dingle just mm-hmm. in it. But then he starts talking. I'm like, I don't like any of this. The accent seems way off and more, I didn't like it. But anyway, when he stopped talking and he they were telling him about like, you can't have an island, you can't have these things. If you just look at Peter, Peter, he is the best at quick, subtle reactions yeah, that are so percent. funny. Like a flint of the eye. He'll just like do a thing with like his eyes. And you're like, what? That was, it's such a brilliant reaction that I just want to see him on camera always. Yeah. And I, you know, I, I got to give it up for, I, I, this is the kind of movie where, I don't feel like people will would talk about Michelle Monaghan and not that she is the star performer of this. Right. But she really kept up with the rest of the cast uh, very yeah. well. And they gave her a role that was different than than again. And like most of these, unless you're Drew Barrymore, than yeah. most of these like Adam That's Sandler true. movies. Yeah. And, um, and, and I liked how she was able to play a character that at first just seems like divorcee wife and, and then you find out she's actually this high ranking official in, yeah. in the government and she she pulls off the the whole layers of the character well yeah and she had some there was like a couple of pretty funny like she, that line about the donkey kong thing like the, yeah. with the editing and the way she delivered it uh, uh was, it was so genuine it was so genuine and that's what made it hilarious yeah, yeah. And i was i was really surprised by how much they actually used her and I thought having them as like a heart of the of the dynamic of, of like the the romantic every one of these Adam Sandler movies has a romantic angle. Yeah. But, uh, but I thought like that actually worked really well here. Yeah. And didn't feel like just a thing they had to do. Like as I like how no, it came it in prior. No, it felt like they needed her yeah. to be in that to help the the story progress which is what we all want of like not just in there because like jane jane is just in there to be a wife to the president she is not needed as a character i mean maybe they just like he needs a wife but like uh in regards to the script and like story building in the way we needed michelle monahan's like character and they did utilize her in it with good intent because i think what most movies would have done is after he's already like with the military, Adam Sandler, then he meets her. And then, yeah. and then, and then it's like, here we go, forced romance. Right. But to actually have them bond prior to completely separate and then get into their, their spat beforehand. Yeah. And then I was like, okay, this works much smarter uh, pr- as opposed to what the most movies will do. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I agree. Yeah. Yeah. And it gives us the build up of also with the son yeah. and how video game heavy he is. Like he's a nerd and an adult and You're- very, you know, thrown into that video game thing, but then it proves to be useful. All right. Uh, so, so before we end this off, I want to show you what Chris Columbus has directed. Cause he's directed wait, a lot. Let me and see. I'm sure let he's me seen- see. We're, we're, okay, he's you're pretty, going he, so I, fast. I'm on the, he's I'm on the, I'm on the producer like he's credits. On speed. What's going on here? Here we go. He's directed a lot, and oh for some reason I could call the yeah. Adventures in Babysitting. Hey, oh my god, that was movie. that was one of my favorite movies. Home Alone. And he directed two Home Alone movies: Mrs. Doubtfire. <gasps> and nine he months. is so good. He did direct the first two Harry Potter movies. <gasps> yeah. Uh, Rent. Ooh, Percy what? Jackson. So I've, been, I've been wanting to react to Percy Jackson. I thought we were, we were going to do it, right? I have not seen it. Let's do it. Yeah, you, you, I, I, haven't I haven't seen, seen any of them. I haven't seen the Percy Jackson and movies. And Christmas Chronicles Part 2, I don't think I've seen, so I might have to watch that because he has directed some very good films that I love. That's insane. Yeah, and he's like a high prolific producer as well. Oh, he produces a lot. Yeah, huh? yeah he's produced a shit ton of movies. Uh, Rent his company was great. Has, yeah. Um, um, yeah, he's a big ass producer, but yeah, man, I, I, wow. I really, I've got, I'm not gonna lie. I, I enjoyed the hell out of that film. I was, I have was good times. I was reluctantly step. I was just like, let's just choose one of the comedies. Cause I just, I, but that yeah. surprisingly, uh, 
That, that brought me a lot of joy. Yeah. <laughs> I had a really great time with that. It makes me want to say, uh, Chris Columbus, this is my, uh, this is my note to you. I'm an actor. Put me in <laughs> yeah. your stuff. Do it. Because your stuff is great. And I am just realizing how much great stuff you've directed. You won't ever watch this or hear this, but I'm saying there's might be people that are like, there Hey man, be. I know Chris, Chris is my best friend. And then you're like, yo, Chris, Tara Erickson. Right. And then you're like, get it, get on it, get with it. Get with it. Put me to work in as an actor. Do it. Yeah. Don't. Not, yeah, anyway. Okay. That's it. That's uh, I have I, another I, movie to shoot with Aaron. I do. And I'm pretty sure he's outside. He's outside so right we now. Probably Listen, end the we video. We have to go. <laughs> yeah. We love you so much. Leave a like, leave a comment. Tell us how cool we are and ring the bell. And we love you so much. Buy all the t-shirts, become a patron. Okay. Bye. All right, guys, since we have uh, only a few days left in the month, yes. we have to make sure that we are getting everyone taken care of for our super sexies who get a patron of the day shout out. So we're going to have to do two shout outs yeah. in this video. And uh, so what two people do we know, John? Just name them. I actually them. got a perfect two. I think would go really nicely together. Who? And that's Maria Hammond. Okay. And Flev Doran fascinating because they're both get this they're both different you know walks of life different kinds of people however both uh bring this generous enthusiastic spirit and i feel like if maria was to adopt flev they could create like the most perfect wholesome you know uh uh, uh the kind of family unit you would want to move into your neighborhood because you know they would be taking care of you you know they would be bringing you gifts and things they would be cooking for you but they would also be sharing in your interests you know what i mean they're two you know uh enthusiastic passionate people but who also seem to really want to care for the people around them you know what i mean and i'm grateful for those vibes Wow. You know, I was, I, I thought we would just do it one at a time and just say what we're grateful for about them. Oh. And, and then you turned this into some crazy amalgamation about adoption. And Let's do your version now. I don't know if we, <laughs> we could. I think we got to roll with this one. Okay. I got to yeah. yes, yes and it, but no I wanted to interrupt here. with my no but briefly yes. before <laughs> going into the yes and here. Um, yeah, I like I like where your head's at. Thanks. Maria is a very tender woman. Yes, with a and she loves to spoil those that are her children or ones she considers to be like her children. Yeah. And Flev is great at expressing his gratitude for those things. And so his childlike wonder. I think that the two of them together, if they were mother and son. There would just be a constant, like it would be kind of annoying, the amount of <laughs> appreciation they would just keep dishing back and forth to each other. I, they're also both very passionate, so I can see it getting like really oh, heated. Yeah. and It's all flowers until they find that one thing they disagree on. They, yeah, and they disagree on it, and then it just gets like ugly yeah. business, and they probably yeah. don't talk to each other for like six to eight business days, and then eventually... Eventually, they would come back around again and realize that we need to put our petty squabbles to the side. And I don't we even know realize, what we were mad about. Yeah. And then eventually, they would remember. And then, and then the, the cycle, cycle starts would continue again. of gratitude, <laughs> gratitude and vitriol. Yeah. Just doesn't stop. Gratitude. Well, damn, dude. Um, I mean, I love you both. Uh, one gives us more than the other yeah. uh, in terms of physical, tangible gifts we can actually hold on camera and put on the set. Yes. <laughs> so, you know, there's that. Meaning, Flev, if you want more gratitude from us, yeah, spend more of your hard-earned dollars. Yes. Because <laughs> that's the key to my heart. That's mm -hmm. my love language, gifts. Yes. Um, I don't know. I don't like the other love languages. I think they're a waste of everyone's time. I'm going to replace all the, <laughs> the links on the channel bio description with just your wish list. <laughs> please. Yeah. Please. Get more of those nifty cabinets over there. Please, man. Got some new so, cabinets in the studio. It was so exciting. No, it's not about that, Flev. You give what you can, which is not enough. No, you hear what you can. <laughs> you can. You gotta always have something to strive for. You yeah. know what I mean? <laughs> you know, you always, you've always been extremely generous with us yeah, via your Patreon dollars, but also with your time and your energy, your thoughts. You contribute to like every single live stream that we do. 
and Maria, before you know it, I'm, I mean, I'm expecting to hear some loud tow truck outside while <sighs> what is being hauled. And then I'm going to hear like, oh, damn, she's just dropped off a cruise ship yes. right into our driveway. Because <laughs> that's the kind that's this. And I mean, let's face it, after everything you've given us, Maria, that's just the next step. Yeah. Is a, a cruise is a ship, cruise ship uh, a is giant a seafaring boat, vessel, a giant boat just <laughs> right outside our door. Can you imagine how cool a reject nation yacht could be? I know. And we react live on the yacht. Yeah, the camera would never stay still. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, it'd be very nauseous because we'll be still, but the background will always be moving. <laughs> yeah, seasick reaction. But all jokes aside, uh, you both are incredibly generous and True both that. heartwarming souls uh, in every regard. It's a good pair, John. Good hey, job. Thanks. Way to make it weird. You made it weird. You made it weird. <laughs> All right, guys. Talk to you soon. Thanks for being here. <laughs>